They were a happy family brought together by their parents' new relationship, but the only person still alive in this picture is Jake, the tallest child. He watched the deaths of not only his stepmother Tracy, but also his sister Amy and stepbrothers Ethan and Josh. Thomas Croker is about to smash into the stopped cars behind them. He only looks up at the road moments before impact. In the moments Mr Croker chose to look at his phone, he caused a multiple vehicle accident that endangered all surrounding road users and took the lives of Tracy, Ethan, Josh and my daughter Amy. To all intents and purposes, Mr Croker's use of his mobile phone whilst driving turned his lorry into a lethal weapon. He was so distracted, he made no attempt to slow down. Had Croker been watching the road that evening, it's possible he would have had up to 45 seconds to see the traffic ahead at a standstill. In this slowed down video recorded in the lorry's cab, you can see Croker scrolling through music with his left hand. The judge said, he might as well have had his eyes closed. The 30-year-old ploughed into the cars behind Tracy Houghton's at more than 50 miles per hour. The force reduced her Vauxhall Corsa to a third of its size. Crushed beneath a lorry in front, Tracy and the children stood little chance of survival. The sentence of 10 years in prison will not ease our pain and suffering nor do we believe it will send a strong enough message to those who lack the self-restraint to not use their mobile phones whilst driving. If it is possible one detail can add more pain, the families learned that just an hour before the crash, Thomas Croker had signed a promise to his employer to not use his mobile at the wheel. If he had kept that promise, four lives would have been saved.